Should you turn frame generation on or off? So frame generation adds extra frames between real ones using AI or motion prediction, so you get more FPS without stressing your GPU. NVIDIA's DLSS frame generation uses AI and optical flow. It's supported on RTX 4000 and 5000 series cards, making it great for boosting smoothness in CPU-limited games. AMD, on the other hand, offers FSR3 and AFMF. These use motion vectors and optical flow but no AI, so they work on a wider range of GPUs, even older ones, including some NVIDIA cards. AMD's FSR4, on the other hand, does use AI for upscaling and is exclusive to AMD's newest RDNA 4 GPUs like the RX 9000 series. So, should you use FrameGen? Well, FrameGen is great for single-player games where smoothness matters, but for competitive games, turn it off. Input lag will just mess with your timing. And if you're only getting around, let's say, 40 FPS or lower, FrameGen won't help. You're going to get a lot of input lag. It's best when you have around 45 FPS at the very least and want to go higher for that buttery smooth experience.